Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello everyone, welcome back again to online NPTEL course on structure from an architecture. Today we are at lecture number 26 and it is all about the cell structures. In previous lecture 25, uh, we have seen the advantages of grid structure uh, over the last span and how it can be used and for different decoration purpose as well as to you know give. Uh, a large span support without any obstruction. So, similarly this cell structure is having much advantage uh, for this large span again and with this uh, it is similar to uh, the previous one, but uh, definitely the form will make by curvature. So, we will discuss various issues on cell structures, uh, we will discuss different types of curvature and also some applications with some examples. So, let us start it. So, if you see the definition of shell structures from different sources, it says a shell is a thin structure composed of curved sheets or material. So, that the curvature plays an important role in the structural behavior realizing a special form. So, basically uh, two important terms that we should see one is very thin structure is one right and the second is your curvature. Now, looking back another definition another explanation of the structure where it say a thin curved membrane or slab usually of reinforced concrete that function both at structure and covering. So, both the definitions is having similar what one is definitely thin and the other one is your curvature. So, these two will make the form which is definitely existing a special uh, form that it will make and that can be used as a cover or that can just be used as a structural member. So, now we proceed with that and here you can see that image where it is basically giving a form of a shell. But before we go into the engineering part of that, uh, as I mentioned in um, very first lecture of this course that wh whatever we de uh, design, whatever we develop the structural uh, elements that are very much inspired from the nature. So, this kind of structure do exist in nature and we just take that particular form, take that particular phenomena and do some engineering to just make a prototype of that. But before we discuss that uh, natural uh, you know shells and from where we are inspired, let us also know the transfer of the load. It is pretty similar this diagram is actually uh, common to you now because I have given this in uh, the you know um, that presentation where we covered dome structure. So, similarly here we will not go by the form of the dome because the curvature in one case can make dome, in one case it may um, uh, you know just develop an arch, sometimes may be a vault, sometimes even making some structure like this which is uh, basically uh, anticlastic curvature. So, we will come to that what is anticlastic, uh, what is other type of curvature, but this kind of form being created. Now, in this case definitely the compression you can get for the circumferential hoop stress and then what we have in the uh, meridional stress which is again the compressive where it can you can get these members how they are you know pressing to uh, close to each other. Now, if I put pressure on top of it and try to just mass it to the ground, so this will act like this. So, this will be in compression, but the lower fiber where the circumferential hoops at the lower part of the dome it is having tension. So, they will try to grow 
go uh, you know away from each other. So, this is why uh, here the tension being developed. Now, in this case uh, where the two curvature you can see one curvature in this direction the other curvature in the other direction and that is why it is called anti clastic where both are of the similar direction we call it synclastic. Now, in this case if you see that the member uh, in this direction is in tension. So, uh, sometimes you know uh, we have also discussed that this point is just being supported if you consider this as membrane. So, this is being supported with a mast with a cable. So, that is tension whereas, the other will balance it with the compression and also at the edge we have the shear in both direction uh, like you have the force and then you have the edge shears in this structure. Now, as I told you that we are inspired uh, by the natural elements which do exist in the nature uh, and these are some of the shale structure. So, in this you can start with the egg shales or maybe the she shales we have nut shales and then this is something very uh, familiar this is basically the coconut uh, that particular shale. So, you can consider the form this is nothing but a dome you just replicate it in uh, change the material and put concrete and reinforcement you can get it. This oval slip also you can use it with uh, some materials. Now, the advantage of that in all the cases if you see the thickness is a very uh, very very small thickness, but it is strong enough and give a good shape or form. So, these shales are basically for those particular KHs. So, they are giving support, they are protecting them at the same time what we make for our structure like the shale structure that is giving the protection as well in terms of building. Now, let us uh, go through some of the examples and just try to relate. This is one example from Sydney Opera House from Sydney, Australia. In this case also this uh, shale form uh, which is very nicely placed with uh, the water body and all it uh, gives us very beautiful view, but along with that also it creates nice interior. So, here it is nothing, but if you compare it with some of the shales structure you get the similarity how it being formed. So, the thickness if you just uh, browse through the different uh, construction phase photographs and all you will say that is very small thickness and holds long span. Similar kind of application is also there we do not need to go abroad. So, in India itself uh, which is Baha'i temple or also referred as the lotus temple which is giving a form of a lotus and here you can see the thickness and how it is being uh, placed to you know get this pan and at the center if you just visually you know get the visual uh, appearance or something uh, from inside you will get the large volume like being created with these petals which is again made of concrete and uh, steel. Now, this is one example from Spain where this is actually oceanographic museum or Valencia aquarium also referred. So, here you can see the thickness. So, with this minimum thickness with the curvature proper geometry we can get this kind of uh, structure. This is the example of TWA terminal of New York J, uh, John uh, J F Kennedy International Airport. Again this terminal building used using the shale structure. This is one auditorium at MIT campus. So, here also it is uh, something made with a shale create a huge uh, volume inside. This is one example from the creation of Jaha Adit. It is Haider Aliyev cultural center. Again here uh, this particular thickness of the shale being used and create some very beautiful structure. Coming to this is something uh, we discussed with the curve and all and here it is the folded plate structure. So, one particular lecture I uh, remember I think you can also follow up that 
uh, I have shown one example with the paper like a plain paper and the folded paper. So, the thickness of the paper is nothing when you make it flat probably it will not hold much load, but when you make the fold so that is basically can able to uh, sustain can resist uh, more load and that is why that is uh, making the form of this folded plate structure. So, this is again a cell structure. So, cell structure is not basically a form, cell structure is a very thin, uh, it can be membrane, it can be folded, it specially being created with some curvature. So, with proper geometry we can really go for this and obviously, you need the materials to support it. So, definitely with the concrete and steel you can do this kind of uh, optimization to make more efficient shell structure. Coming to the materials, so reinforced concrete is one already mentioned steel can be used the steel and glass then plastics can be used for some demonstration aluminum can be used and also timber. So, many cases like some structure being made with the timber or proper timbering uh, it can give us a nice result. Coming to the typology of cell structures, this is very important and we have to understand. So, one by one we will try to understand it, so that in upcoming slide I have not given uh, more sketches, we will try to understand with the sketch uh, what exactly they are. So, cell structure being uh, divided based on the curvature, one is your singly curved, one is your doubly curved and whenever you have single curve you have always a chance to go for development. So, developable, uh, developable cells and un non developable uh, shells. So, these are two category. Then under singly curved you have the surfaces of revolution. So, with revolution like uh, if you have some particular profile and you just make revol uh, revolve it. So, then by that what form you will get that is basically the surface of revolution. Surface of translation or ruled surface is basically where one surface other uh, surface they are actually blend. they are uh, you know merge together to form and translate from one shape to other shape. The ruled one where some kind of uh, elements is being repeated in a particular pattern to give this. Now, again the similar kind of uh, thing that we can go for doubly curve where more than two curve being used to make the shell structure and depending on their direction we have synclastic and anticlastic. Again synclastic will have similar surfaces of you know revolution and surface with the translation and uh, your ruled surface and again this is the same category. So, if you just follow up, so basically based on the surfaces we have uh, two category, one is your revolution, other is your translation or the ruled surface, but depending on the curve again we have say uh, you know single double and in double you have two. So, in uh, this particular slide what you can see very carefully these are very nice illustration and it will clear the idea of your monoclastic, synclastic and anticlastic. So, start with the monoclastic here you can see that two surfaces they are crossing each other, but the form that being created only use one side. So, basically if I try to uh, zoom this particular part. is something like that and now only this particular surface we create a curvature. So, this is only one direction okay, and single curve and now we just extend it. So, we get the form of this kind of thing. So, now it can be of a circular form, it can be of a elliptical or maybe hyperbola. So, when you go for this kind of form it will essentially lead us to the barrel vault or those pointed edge vault. Now, coming to the synclastic where the same example being given, now it is not only the one direction, but the other direction. Okay? The other direction also they are having the curvature. 
So, basically if you get this form is basically you will get something like this. So, a surface you just try to curve x direction and y direction and they are in the similar fashion. So, here if it is basically uh, like downwards, so anti clockwise or clockwise you take one particular direction for both the curvature. Coming to the anti clastic, yes similar to the other one you have this curvature in this direction, but the other one is opposite direction. So, in this you can get this kind of curvature. Now, where one is your convex, one is your concave. So, in this case if they merge together they will form the anticlastic. So, this anticlastic category is coming here, synclastic here and then this is basically singly curved. Now, but because of uh, the formation due to the surface they are also having much classification. Now, here if you see uh, the formation where it is like elliptical or may be hyperbolic or circular. Now, circular is making a form of cylinder or may be cone if you just uh, pull all these points to a particular apex. So, it will give you. So, hyperbola you can get this example and looking at this view ok. If I draw this you can identify these are something uh, very common you know for the any plant and on the cooling tower is make something like this and uh, this can make a taint or something. Now, coming to the surface revolution shell structure as we have seen the cone in this cane this is inverted cone. Now, this cone being formed. So, how it is being formed? So, you have a circular base you have a height, then you just make a side of the cone and then you just rotate it 360 degree. Okay. So, it will give you this particular revolution and you get this form as a conical form. Now, instead of that you have a circular base, you have the similar kind of top, you just connect those and just with a reference to the center of the uh, cylinder or the circle here, you just make a rotation, not rotation is basically revolve 360 degree. So, you get a form of cylinder. So, these are two forms and here basically we have to remember both the cases the inside is hollow. So, only we have a thickness and then we get this form. So, here uh, this is this kind of tank being is basically a uh, you know what we call a rectangular uh, thin sheet and that is basically rolled to get the form of this particular cylinder. So, this is surface revolution due to revolution this kind of thing happened. Now, only I have explained it with cone and cylinder, but it may be of a different shape where uh, like you can have some elliptical rotation. Okay. So, we get a surface like this okay, and then make a rotation. So, basically that will give this form of a dome. So, earlier uh, in dome uh, uh, the lecture where we discussed dome, we discussed about the onion dome. So, that can also be formed like this. So, where this profile is very important and one axis and then the revolve uh, of uh, you know 360 degree will create this form. Now, coming to the surface of translation. So, surface of translation is basically where you get this kind of barrel valve. So, you have one curvature, one arch and then you extend it okay, and create this arch form. So, this is one translation that we can uh, see now uh, instead of one you can have the both direction so then you can have your another you know uh, kind of vault into picture here this uh, ex uh, example that i have given here this is basically creating a arch and this particular uh, covering to the pathway now coming to the translation again 
where the earlier one is just the monolithic because only the curvature is in one direction okay, and we just extend it. But in the this example, it is basically the example of your synclastic. So, synclastic curvature that means wherever you have one particular surface, one particular curvature in one direction and the other one uh, of the same direction. So, uh, to make it uh, clear to you, just let me show you how we can. So, this is one direction from a cube and we take the similar profile and then this is another direction. Now, if you add these two, if you uh, you know add these two forms, so this is making this valve wall and this is making this valve wall and we make the combination of that. So, that is basically giving you the form like this. So, all these corners is visible and you get this. So, in all the cases the curvature is in the same direction that is why it is called synclastic. So, here it is the translation of surfaces, two surfaces they are merging together and that can be reversed as well. So, we can have a surface something like this, something suspended that is also possible. So, I am showing in this direction. Now, in this case uh, the curvature is something where we have to add this is one direction, okay. the other curvature is of this direction. If you merge this, so basically that is creating a form which is something like this. Okay. So, if you can just try to imagine, so this form is like this and this curvature is followed this. So, this kind of uh, form that the final form should look like this. So, here this is having a curvature in this direction and here the curvature is in the opposite direction. So, we call it anti clastic curvature. So, there are many examples of anti clastic curvature where the hyperbolic paraboloid being used or two parabola they merge each other in opposite direction as translation. Now, the ruled surface is something where uh, you have a circular base or something then you just decide one member okay, and you just rotate it in a different uh, pattern. Okay. So, that is giving a form of this like you rotate this particular element with the similar angle and it will give a form of a twisting tower. So, here also you can see similar kind of this is a example of cooling tower. So, this is your ruled surface. Now, before coming to the advantage and uh, disadvantages of cell structure, let us clear this like whatever we have discussed and the examples that we have seen. Now, go back to those pictures and let us give uh, the type that we have seen. Yes, so especially if I just ask you about this. So, this curvature, what is the category? So, we have how many? One is your uh, surface that is revolution due to revolve, one is your surface translation, the other is surface ruled. So, in this case it is the category of, um, I am sure that all of you can get it, this is surface translation. Okay. So, surface translation. Now, about the curvature, the second level category, here you can get this direction okay, very good, but at the same time you are getting this direction. So, you have multiple curvature. So, this is example of doubly curved. 
So, surface translation doubly curved. Now, we have to assign it is anticlastic or synclastic because monolithic monoclastic is only for the single curve, singly curved shell structure. So, as because we have a different direction, so this is basically example of anticlastic curvature. Right? So, there are examples if you go through the work of Felix Candela, you will get many application of this kind of form. Okay. Now, in this case, what would be your answer? So, this is something where again we have one curvature in this, one curvature in that side. So, again it is surface translation, then doubly curved and then in this case this is at the same direction. So, basically the example that we have taken there it is similar to that. So, this is basically your synclastic curvature. Right? Now, coming to this now it is being clear in this case you have two surfaces. So, hyperbolic paraboloid is example of anticlastic and in this case it is elliptic paraboloid it is your synclastic clear. So, anticlastic and synclastic from these two example it is clear to us and again here the surface these are resultant of your revolve or revolution and here it is surface translation. Okay. Now, coming to the advantage of cell structure, it is very light form of construction because again the thickness of the material is less. Useful for large span with small thickness, very minimal thickness, sometimes even the span of 60 meter can have of only 60 mm. Uh, or 75 mm thick uh, you know structural thickness of uh, uh, the roof. Dead load can be reduced by economizing foundation and supporting system as because this whole system will depend on the curvature. The way you make the curvature that depends on that how you can get the rise. So, the rise uh, you know uh, that we discussed earlier when you discussed about the arch. So, whenever you have this form, so rise is uh, from this particular abutment. So, this is the rise. So, wherever the vertical support, so this is your rise. So, this rise how you will make whether you can go for flat, whether you can go for something uh, very organic, or whether you go for very systematic and uh, regular shape or the design that you will follow, we can definitely reduce the date load. Aesthetically looks good over other form of construction definitely. So, if you see those buildings, those uh, you know uh, lotus temple, Sydney opera house, each of the buildings it speaks uh, its beauty like with very uh, first of all that particular form that attracts me, but second the second is uh, the application of the cell structure to create the large span with the less amount of material uh, and properly executed. Coming to the disadvantages of cell structure, shuttering and form work is problematic as because it is taking a huge span. So, just remember if you can go for a height of say 4 story building. So, how you can really go for this uh, shuttering? So, it is very uh, complicated and also it needs proper execution and form work to get this smooth service as because the load being transferred with the curvature. So, this form work is basically very important to determine the curvature in a right way. So, that the load can be distributed uh, the way we want. Then greater accuracy of form work is required as I mentioned like it is all sustained with the curvature. So, it is important that how you form it. So, if there is some disbalance, so the equilibrium will be disturbed and the structure will not be that much stable uh, which is not really desirable. 
skill labor and supervision is required to achieve those kind of accuracy. Then rise of roof may be disadvantage because many a times see whenever we use the sail structure it cover a large span like hanger or something, but definitely we cannot use the upper portion of it. And this rise sometimes like to get the proper shape, proper stability, geometric stability, we this rise is uh, giving something extra. So, maybe we do not require it. For that sometimes we can also go for a uh, low rise or almost flat kind of sail structure or else we just go for the folded plate structure that is basically maintaining the rise as well. And as we will have a discussion on the folded plate structure separately that is why I am not extending it in this particular sail structure. Folded plate structure itself we will have uh, you know uh, lecture after you know in uh, next few within next few lectures we will see that. Now, coming to the summary uh, already like I have uh, discussed it twice in this lecture, but then the final is the summarize form the seal is basically a thin structure important thing is your curvature and then based on that we have seen different application from lotus temple to your TWA terminal, then uh, Sydney opera house. Now, coming to the category uh, that uh, we have, so one is your single uh, singly curved and then we have the doubly curved. In doubly curved we have synclastic and anticlastic and here we have basically monoclastic only one side. So, that means in synclastic it is the form where the curvature being made in the similar direction, anticlastic where the curvature being made in a different direction and monoclastic is only one direction uh, more representative of a vault. Now, again to create this form uh, each will have different surface uh, you know uh, different curve surface curvature of the surface. So, one of that is basically the surface revolution where a profile being just revolved then you have surface translation where different uh, curvature like concave convex they merge together. Uh, and, and different way like one, once two concave merge together will get uh, the synclastic where one concave one convex that will really form the anticlastic. And then the surface ruled where it is giving a form of a twisting tower or cooling tower that I have shown. And the regarding the material again concrete being extremely used extensively used in uh, this kind of sail structure. Then you have your metal like steel, aluminum and other thing and then we can also get some example of the wood to make this sail structure beautiful. And the application the advantages that we have seen that again the large span. Then uh, again reduce the material. and no doubt about it is looking visually pleasant. Now, coming to the disadvantage again high rise sometimes not many times we prefer this kind of volume that we have seen in say some volume in uh, your lotus temple in Delhi or maybe in pa uh, Pantheon. So, sometimes that particular thin uh, dome structure helped us to get uh, the good feeling with the large volume and all. Uh, so, along with the uh, high rise sometimes also the problem is with the form work. As because this uh, shape of the shale structure depend on the curvature and all. So, form work is very essential the perfect execution of the form work will determine the final shape 
of the curvature. So, this is very important and needs supervision and skill labor as well. So, that we need to look. So, uh, it has advantages, this advantage for any structure uh, definitely there are particular application, there are some gains, but at the same time if we do not uh, take proper care of that during execution, during design or during material selection, maybe our target will not be fulfilled. So, with that uh, I uh, conclude here with uh, sales structure, I have shown some examples, but there are many. Personally, a uh, sales structure I like very much, even many of you like this kind of sales structure around the world. So, what I suggest you browse through uh, internet, get more examples and time to time keep posting. So, that I will also get to know about some interesting uh, shell structure around the world and that can always help both of us like all of us uh, to know more about the type and more examples in different category of your synclastic, anticlastic or monoclastic uh, curvature formed cell structure and different materials like nowadays not only concrete metal, but also some new innovative materials can make it uh, happen. So, with that I stop here and these are the further readings that you can go, you can also browse through the uh, link, internet link that I have given in uh, some of the slides where you can read more uh, about that particular structure to know about the material, the formation and again that will link uh, redirect you to some more uh, examples. So, that is useful I uh, sincerely request you to do that. Next we will discuss uh, about the truss and space frame, again it will be some useful structure which will be helping us to uh, you know design a large span structure. So, we will be discussing on the next lecture, uh, till then. Uh, I would like to thank you again to take part in this course, thank you.